Good afternoon, Jules fans, and welcome back again to Jules in the Blood TV for another match day live. Got Stocky in the car with us today as well. Boz in the back's been relegated. Um, team news is in. Yep, just the one change from the Cup win over Orient last week. O'Neill in for Zakuadi is on international duty. So what are we hoping that he's playing centre half? Yeah, the way that it was kind of announced on Twitter, it had him. He had a uh, Holy Claire and then O'Neill. So that would indicate Going to me, from right to yeah. left, yeah. He's probably playing Boz, he's right Boz out. He's, there's Boz, there's Boz. <laughs> I'll take that, Boz, been relegated. Um, yeah, I'd rather that because you're, you're only making one change in it, you, rather than like Boz said. Otherwise, if you put O'Neill left back like he did when he came on against Rotherham, he's on the wrong side, and then you've got to move Ogilvy back in, and then you're making too many changes that you don't need to make. Weeks, yeah, he's improved the last few weeks. Um, spoke to Boz on the match preview, decided not to go Tuesday. Stocky decided not to go Tuesday. Right or wrong decision? I'm not fast. I followed it on Twitter. <laughs> I've seen the goals. Absolute crazy game. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, poor old Stuart Nelson though has played a yeah. development fixture and a checker trade trophy fixture in the space of seven days and conceded 11. Um, badly at fault for their third, I think it was. But it, the third one that's gone straight through. I think there's a few that he was at fault. I think he was really. one. I thought he was, he didn't, he done right First one, I didn't think he had a chance. I thought it was a good finishing off the near post. The, the header, I'm not sure. Maybe he was a bit slow getting across, but. Um, as much as we all love him. He's back on the bench today, incidentally, but I think if you're now playing in the checker trade games, it, either Lovell's not made his mind up who's number two or Nels is now third choice, but um, it was good to see him play, but it weren't the greatest of comebacks, let's say that. Um, I'm sure he probably didn't enjoy it, even if we enjoyed it. Playing. It just, the thing for me was as well, because in them games it's very quiet, you could hear like players shouting and you could hear Thomas Holy last week, couldn't we, at Orient yeah. boys? But I couldn't even, I hardly heard, heard Nils at all Tuesday night, a couple yeah. of times, but not a lot. And you know how vocal he can be. Um, so I'm not sure, obviously, what was going on. There was a rumour that he was not on the bench against Orion because his wife had given birth, but I don't know how true that was. Um, but anyway, team's in for today, looking forward to it. Um, Boz, oh, you've done yours, didn't you? Boz is still going with this reverse psychology madness, um, which seems to be working. I've gone 3-1 again for the third game in a row, so it's over to Stocky for his um, match prediction. Well, I'm going to predict a close 1 0 win, especially after the other day where we got a few goals as well. Um, but at the back of my mind, all I can think of is Northampton. That's the... And that's the worry. Like I'm confident I'm predicting a win, but I felt like this before Northampton and everyone was quite confident. That's probably the only thing we've said, haven't we, about Steve Lovell at the moment in terms of ticking things off on the to do list for to convince Mr. Chairman that he's ca uh, capable of doing it is the only thing that's let him down. Was the only yeah. time we was playing a team that were below us and we were favourites. We didn't win, but the performance weren't bad, was it, Boz? It weren't like yeah, a horrendous like, performance. Yeah, I mean, it was got done to Bondigo, stereotypical yeah. smash and grab, wasn't it? Yeah. We battered them for the first 44 minutes, and then yeah, I mean, that should have, world should have been at least a point, if not all three. Well, we three. three. Well, we had List and Martin really good chances, and then we had bit second half as well. I think it was just one of them days if yeah. we got the first goal. But again, that's today. And if we bury get it, then it's how we react. But and then um, also they're under their caretaker boss as well. So yeah, earlier into his reign, is it Brian Lowe? Brian Lowe, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah I've not seen their team today, so I don't know if he's. We haven't won an away game all season, and apparently we haven't lost at home to him for nine games. We beat him at home last year, didn't we? That was, um, I think, Brian Jackson scored one and then. Cross for the own goal for the um, the second one. That was yeah. early on in the season when we was actually playing quite well. And I'm sure we beat him the season. Be wasn't the season before when Emmanuel Sadebi scored his goal of the season? Yeah, yeah when he ran from the yeah. halfway it's, it's line. Like we haven't lost him at home in not the last nine games, something along them lines. So we're either going to bash him or it's going to be one 0 to Berry. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're getting close to the ground. I'm going to put some coats on because it looks like it's just about to absolutely hammer it down. And we will see you inside the stadium. Yeah. Number two is Luke O'Neill, number five, Max Taylor, number eight, Jacob Essenthal, number nine, Tommies, number eleven, Lee Martin, number twelve, Cara Ogilvy, number fourteen, Josh Parker, twenty-one is Davis.
They shall not show grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. And then Tom Eves has done the same, got, got it to a good area. And when you want it to be low into the box, really, at least, he's smashed it up really high up in the air. And at least they ain't got a chance, no, no, no best, offence to it. Best chance was in the first minute, wasn't it, with the Sean Clare one? Yeah, really good chance, made it for himself, but since then it's been average. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't say they've had that many chances. They, they do look quite threatening if they can just, again, with them decision making, if they can just find that final ball. Yeah, yeah, both teams have been all right until the final third, haven't they, really? Yes. I don't think the keeper's made a save either of them, have they? So, uh, yeah, 25 minutes gone and it's, um, you can tell it's two teams near the bottom. Here we come to you now, but they're on top now, aren't they? I went yeah, to stop I've you a few minutes ago, they was, uh, it was even, but they're well on top. I've just said to you, they just want it more than us, we're so clumsy, so many little errors. Placeful in possession, we look half the arse over. Martin's not doing enough to help out O'Neill down the left. Burns having a real, real poor game, and the only reason we're not behind them is because every time they have a shot, it's one there. Nicky and Jose just had a really good chance. Oh, the one yeah, that you're talking about yeah, was just hit in, but before that, he should have scored. Um, but yeah, so at the moment. It's two sides, at the moment, they want it And at the moment, I think just Jules can get to half time at 0 0, and then Tom Eves can beast up in front of the Rainham in the second half. So it's not very good. One nil to the away side, and they deserve it, don't they? I think. Yeah, it's been coming. It's been coming. The midfielders, very midfielders, Dan and I don't know who the other guy is. Rohan Ince. Yeah, Rohan. They've been bossing it for me. Yeah. They look a class above where they are in the league. Six years fair, didn't they? They look. Yeah, they look a lot better than the team that's below us yeah. in the league. So they're, they're moving the ball nicely. They're trying to play football, and we're just not reacting to stuff. There's too is, many players having an off day. Is the, the goal offside though? It looked offside. I said offside straight away. Yeah, he looked Max like he started his run. 
far too early. Well, because he, he came back in, didn't he? Then yeah. he stopped and then saw that the flag hadn't gone up, so then decided to go again, which indicates he thought he was offside. But um, um, It was a good finish, low in the corner. I don't know yeah. whether Holy could have got it or not. We'd have to look at that one back, but it did look offside at the time. I'm surprised when the flag didn't go up. But, but it's, um, we're in this situation again now where against the team below us, we're struggling. Yeah, Northampton are winning as well. Yeah, so we're... All the talk before the game is if we win, we go out the bottom four. We're now right back in the mire, unfortunately, with five minutes to go. That's the worst we've been on the line, I think. Half time at the Priestfield and we're 1 0 down. I'm going to go to Stocky first. Um, been rubbing. I've just said, I've just tweeted, that's, been as, that's as bad as we've been under Steve Lovett. Yeah, I agree. Wide distance. Kind of similar to when Panic was in charge, really, the way we're playing at the moment. Um, we changed the formation quite a few times throughout the game. Which we've got three systems, haven't we? Yeah, we, we've noticed that list went up top at one point to make it 4 4 2. And then Parker was a number 10 and a right winger, now he's a left wing back. Yeah, I think we just need to settle a bit of um, stability, stability at the moment. There's too much chopping and changing. Yeah, we've made it as, as decent as they've been. I think we've made it very easy for them, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned the centre midfielders have been good, but we've not put the pressure on them and we've not competed with them. So we've probably made them look a lot better look than what lot, they are. We look so slow to everything, unfortunately. Aside from the early Sean Clare shot, and then I think Lee Martin hit one straight down the keeper's throat. But they're both from distance. We've not got him behind in yeah, the series, have we? The keeper hasn't been tested, really, in all honesty, has he? And they should have been probably going in two up, had a decent chance two right at the end. Two or three, three, yeah. Jose missed one, and then I think it was Michael Smith missed one as well. Simba yeah. Charles, he's drifted wide, so plenty of work to do. But, um, yeah, it's been really poor. I'm going to go to you now, Boz. Boz, what have you made of that? Me and Stocky have both agreed that that's, just, that's the worst we've been under Steve Lovell. I think two for us is a good way of putting it. We just, yep. well, we're lacking in some of the There's no, it's not, why do you want to rely on a rough fight? Why do you burn his struggling? <coughs> no one's really grabbing it by the you know what. Yeah, exactly. No, I, see, I totally agree. What's happening is probably relying on Eames now to be smothered up in the second half. Yeah, I was going to say, the only thing that we're sort of clinging to is that plenty of games this season, a lot of our players have got better as the game have gone on, but the trouble is now, we're going to be slightly more open because we have to um, obviously chase the game a little bit, not straight away. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit of best, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a very... Stocky said it's comparing it to sort of Aiden Pennock's right? We've changed the system three times. We're very yeah, reactive yeah. everything that we do, which has been completely the opposite of what level's been so far. So, fingers crossed we can be better second half. We are shooting towards the rain and then and Tom leaves it. I love Tom Eames, loves it in there. But yeah, at the moment, it's, um, it's been a bit of a struggle. And uh, Julian, substitution, placing number 21 in the million list is number 10, Connor Wilkinson. Stocky, we should be level. We've had a Josh Parker header at the keeper, I've had a Tom Eves header at the keeper, 21 minutes to go. Um, it's been a lot better than the first half, not that that's a glowing yeah. reference, but if we want to win it, we need to score pretty soon, I think, don't we? Corner Jills, our long left couple of minutes, can we nick this? We're going to stay live here, we're going to stay live here. We're going to get ready for Stocky to celebrate over here. Got him. Lee Martin out, swinger coming now. Go on, go on, go on. Get up! Oh. 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 We're still keeping it alive. Go on. It's gone far. Oh, oh. it's hit the roof of the net.
back in the car, cold, um, one all full time. Probably the fairest result, wouldn't it, boys? I think. Yeah. It's two points dropped. I think we could have yeah. nicked it at the end. I think we've done enough second half to possibly deserve the three points. But then Ryan Lowe will probably come out and say that they had enough chances first half to deserve the points. So I think it's one of them, isn't it? I think it's one of them. We keep playing well for one half, don't we? It's more frustrating when you're playing well in the second half. Yeah, I mean, we can't we can't say too much about the away games, but yeah, in terms of Northampton and um, today, Berry, probably our best performance is probably at home under level was Wigan. Yeah. Um, but it is frustrating because if you look at the Northampton game and the, the Berry game after winning at Peterborough and Rotherham, it could be another five points. We could be about another five places better off, I think. I've not looked at the league table, but... It wasn't fantastic, was it? But in second half, we did create two or three really good off At least, chairs. yeah. We've had, um, yeah, we had a couple of decent Josh chances. Parker header, Tom Eaves header. Burn. 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 Burn should score. It's an open yeah. goal. Boz was celebrating, um, <laughs> which is frustrating. I suppose those are the final Wilkinson lines. Wilkinson had a good chance yeah, as well. And he, well, he done think. well when he came on. He gets a lot of stick, but he put himself about and... I think probably one of our better players yeah, I think I think he was Definitely when he came second on. half yeah and he made a difference and then that almost that thing where we're always saying where Tom Eves keeps dropping deep or going out wide you, you didn't notice that then because obviously you've still got a target man in the box so to speak but no I thought he was very good and it shows that well it's only 45 minutes but it can work as a partnership yeah. I suppose yeah hopefully it just needs um, you know yeah, um, the frustrating stuff obviously the two centre mids have been brilliant the last few weeks and <clears throat> both seem to have off days today, didn't they? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, both were, were very poor. First you didn't notice as much second half, but first half, the golfing class the between their centre well. midfields and ours was just. Yeah, I think else. it helped us. Did it help us that Neil Downs got taken off after sort of 70 minutes? Because that's when we really started bossing the game, I think, wasn't it? But yeah, I didn't possibly. see an injury, so it was a weird one if it was a tactical one from their point of view, in my opinion, because I thought, as Stocky just said, Ince and Downs were running the show. And the two fullbacks were quite narrow, weren't they? Constantly. I was today, yeah, I said it was outside, almost a throwback yeah. to sort of Ryan Jackson last season when he was carrying injuries all the time and low on confidence, just didn't want to seem to a get times, into when their we were, half. When we were on top, Amor had to win centre circle, wanted to give it to one of them out wide and both next And was all going backwards and square and mm. really slow, yeah. But um, I suppose the big positive is that, that we were behind and we've come we'll back come and back. we've managed to take a point um, when we've not been at our best. So that's a good sign, I suppose. We go so to Walsall next I'm week. I'm beating him five now, is it? Something like that. Yeah, we haven't lost... Um, Reading, Orient... Rotherham today. today was on before that Northampton I think yeah. yeah so it's five unbeaten something like that four or five unbeaten yeah so and it's eight points from 15 in the league um, we've had that form at the start of the season right. yeah if we'd been offered it then at the start of Lovell's <coughs> run we'd have taken it wouldn't we again it's it was frustrating because we've beaten the so called better sides but if someone had said well, you take eight points eight points is eight points we? so yeah so it's, it's independent we'd have probably rolled over it's a, probably, and it's probably a good sign that we are disappointed rather yeah. than going oh excellent we've managed to nick a point so um, we're cold uh, a little bit frustrated is probably the fairest way to say um, but yeah a battle in points probably the best way to describe it as always thanks for watching and until next time up the Jills.